Hey, welcome to Dow Stock Talk. This is another reaction video. The title is You're Just a Sugar Daddy. No further ado, let's jump into it. By the way, guys, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Cody is in New York to start off this day, this hour. Hey, Cody, how are you? Hi, Dave. It's uh, great to be on the phone with you. You too, great sir. Great to finally meet you. I've been watching you for a little while now. Well, thank you. How can we help? Dave with the fresh cut. Okay. Um, so I had a question um, about, I recently put myself um, back a couple baby steps uh, by going and getting myself a truck loan. But now uh, a girlfriend of mine, of course, you know, not married. So, you know, I know roughly what where I'm already at thinking, you know, especially watching you, um, she wants me to finance a car for her. Um, don't do it. Um, I was thinking if she comes up with a large down payment, you know, I'm in pretty decent, uh, financial shape myself, no, you know, not. So you I have a truck maybe payment. She could no, I know that is, that, that's true. <laughs> so I was um, thinking if I could go through, um, if I should finance the vehicle for her or not, because, um, it's a really big deal to her. Obviously she has a vehicle now. So in my eyes, she doesn't need one. I went and got it inspected for her. So I know it's good for at least another year. So she already has a car and she wants another car. Uh, no. Um, I'll get your take on it. <clears throat> Cody, if you were to guess what we would say, what would your guess be? <laughs> of course not. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I have, I have I my know. own truck loan, and I'm well, and here's what sucks, Cody. thousand dollars a month toward it to get it paid off. So, I know. So here's the know. deal: is like it is number one, just taking on debt in general is a risk, and then number two, when you put yeah. your your name on someone else's debt. That's a massive risk, and we have had oh, yeah, even more risk. Yeah, just so many calls. Okay, so do you want us to help give you a good argument to give to your girlfriend? Is this part of why you called? Yeah, yeah, that that would be great. You know, <laughs> if, you know, I've I've went over the points of you know interest rates are higher right now. I have my own. You know, I've had the conversation with her. You know, like can can you wait until I get my truck paid off? I, I'm expecting to get my truck paid off. I I, I financed um, thirty. Thirty-three, um, thirty-three thousand four hundred for it. Um, I've made literally Cody, two payments on it. Cody, and I what what do you make? I, I make about a one twenty a year. What does she make? Okay, sell it. Uh, she's making about eight hundred dollars a week. Um, okay, and how long y'all been dating? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, like four months. <laughs> no, no, four four months. For And how old are you two? Uh, I am. Thir I just turned thirty, and she just turned nineteen. Stop it! Stop! Stop! Stop the tape, bro. Really? Okay. Uh, you just described a sugar daddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> um. Yeah, she doesn't make any money. She's 19 years old, and she wants you to go buy her a truck. Um, no, a car, probably. I don't, or a car, she, I don't think or she's going to drive a truck yet. Rachel, you're going to crawl out from under the desk now. Um, the uh, car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you you make a lot of money. She didn't make any. So, uh, number one, I don't know that there's an explanation for her that's going to satisfy her. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, she's not going to be loving a no of any kind, no matter how logical or sweet or well crafted. Okay. Uh, so let's just right. be prepared for the fact that she ain't going to like this. Okay. Number two, uh, if you were my son, who is um, just a tiny bit older than you, um, I would knock a noggin on your head if you did this because a lot of reasons. Number one, what Rachel said, you're going to get yourself in a mess. Number two, of course, yeah. we teach you not to borrow money. Of course, we're not going to teach you to borrow money for 
for yourself even after you finally get your truck paid off because it was a mistake to go in debt for the truck in the first place. We're going to stop doing debt so that you can become wealthy making $120,000 a year. Okay? So we're going to take and debt off the table. The truck. We're just going to take that. There's no explanation it right for it, Cody. We're taking debt off the table. You called us. You knew what we were going to say. So, But here's the biggest problem, all right? Um, relationally, this feels like it's going to be a strain if you don't do it. And I will tell you from having coached um, folks for 30 years that if you do this, you're going to put a bigger strain on the relationship because you're changing the tone, the flavor of the relationship Mm -hmm. from two independent adults seeking a high-quality connection to now one is dependent upon the other. Right. And it changes the it changes dinner. It Meaning changes being the date. On me. It yeah 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 because you just and uh yeah now you're somewhat d- dependent upon her because if she doesn't pay the payment making eight hundred dollars a week shock um then you're gonna end up having to pay the payments shock okay and uh, then there's gonna be another strain on the relationship and so you're gonna do damage to whatever the quality of this relationship is, it's going to get worse if you do this. Yeah. So that's the biggest reason not to do it. The second biggest reason not to do it is there is nothing, no scenario that turns out positive out of this. All the scenarios are negative. <laughs> and I think too, Cody, I would, be, I would be curious on the relational side, how she takes the no yeah. probably reveals a lot about her, right? And, and the- Most likely she's probably not going to take it well kind of person you want to be in relationship and with and so is, what she's really doing here yeah you know and it, but if she's willing to learn and she's like okay so why won't you co-sign you're like well because of this and this and this and i want to get out of debt i want to do you know what i mean and you may yeah. teach her something new which is great you know i'm not saying she's like a bad person but y'all's value systems might be might be very very different and then the other thing that would is would happen too if you co-sign and she loses a job no, you, or she suddenly decides, oh, I'm going to go on a fun girl's trip and spend money. And, oh, shoot, I just can't make my car payment this month. And you're thinking, you just went on a girl's trip and you're not going to pay your payment. And now I'm stuck with, like, you're going to start analyzing yeah. everything that she buys well, and let, purchases. Let, and so, like, it just, yeah, the whole thing, it's it's just is so, it's it's very messy. Yeah, so let's be real clear. It won't be co-signing because there's no bank in the world going to sign her up for anything. No, that's probably, that's probably, yeah, She's yeah, living yeah, yeah. below the poverty level. So you're, you're going to own a car with a car payment. And then you're going to have to go pick up your car from your ex-girlfriend when you break up. Dang. This is going to be and awkward. Then, and, and then you're going to feel terrible <laughs> if you broke up with her one day. And then you have to go and be like, I need my car back. She's like, I don't have a car. I'm going to get to work. And now you're dependent. You're mm. st- I mean, it's just, yeah. Yeah. No good plan. But Cody, I appreciate you calling. Yeah. Thanks for, <laughs> for asking. Yeah. I and, and uh I, I sympathize with where you are and you're you're a nice guy trying to think about this. Yes, but yes. You did call the people who tell people not to borrow money so that they can become wealthy and outrageously generous and ask to borrow money, period. Bad idea. Number two, doing that with people or for people that you're not married to, bad idea. Number three, when the person you're doing it for is completely broke and makes no money, super bad idea. So let's just but that concludes the stock talk. My overall opinion is I pretty much doesn't want, probably wouldn't do it if I was him uh, for obvious reason. But I think when you do things like that, you would only do things like that if you would be completely okay with the person depending on you financially. If you're okay with that, that's something different. But a lot of times with that particular dynamics, if it's not expected of you to kind of solely kind of be, let her be dependent on you i would definitely say that's a no go but let me know in the comments below what do you think if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button if you need make sure you subscribe to my channel ah, mo.